Hello, I'm David Cook, the Welfare Service Manager for the West of Scotland for Poppy Scotland. Welcome to our new centre, Poppy Scotland Ayrshire, the McRobert Centre. If you follow me around, we'll introduce you to the people that are within the building and show you around a wee bit. So this is the reception area to the new building. Um, if I can follow you around and show you around a bit, we have IT equipment that's available to beneficiaries and their families so that they can seek advice, fill out appropriate forms and get access to anything on the internet that they require. Obviously a couple of nice quiet seating areas while they're waiting. I'd like to introduce you now to Debbie McLaughlin. She'll perhaps tell you about a wee bit about herself and her role here. Hi, I'm uh, Debbie McLaughlin. I'm the Welfare Administrator for the West of Scotland. Uh, my role is basically to welcome people to the centre, keep all the paperwork that we need to keep the centre running and to get people the help they need and also to support the partners who work with us in the, in the office as well. Back to the centre itself, as part of the setup of the centre we have three meeting rooms of different sizes um, used for different functions. As you can see this is the largest of the three rooms. It can fit in about 16 individuals for group meetings or group work that may take place. At the moment we've got combat stress doing a life works and resilience group work session over a seven week period. They utilise that for this and we also have SAFA and other agencies that use it for their general meetings and for training such as mental health awareness within the armed forces that is run by Defence Medical Welfare Services as part of Unforgotten Forces. As you can see as we move through we also have individual counselling stroke assessment rooms that are used on a regular basis by Combat Stress, Veterans First Point and ourselves when we make initial contact and continue work with our beneficiaries to make sure that they're looked after and get the support privately that they need. As we move through the building, we're fully adapted for disability and have an easily accessible disabled toilet. Um, before we go into the main hub and staffing area of the building, which is out of bounds to the public, but is used on a regular basis by ourselves and our regular members. As you can see, the desk space to my right is empty at the moment. I can only apologise a wee bit due to the weather, but in general, we have the regular forces advice service, employment advice service that work from here three days a week. We have a permanent desk in the corner for defence medical welfare services. When they're in the offices, they are usually out and about working with clients and in the local hospitals, but they come back here to pick up their paperwork, work on their administration, and to be able to keep us up to date on the casework that we've passed on to them. We also have Veterans First Point and Combat Stress. Again, they come in on a regular basis, uh, carry out their administration, keep up with the cases, um, and keep us up to date with what's going on with the beneficiaries, and obviously to use the other facilities here. If I can now introduce you to Graham. Graham will tell you a wee bit more about himself. Uh, hi there, um, my name is Graham Fulton. I'm the, <coughs> excuse me, the Welfare Services Coordinator for Poppy Scotland. Um, prior to taking up this role, I had various positions within both the third sector and private sector, working in Ayrshire and Glasgow. Uh, prior to that, I served 24 years with the Scots Guards. So the fact that I come from a service background lends itself to, to my current role. As Graham said, he comes from a service background which helps um, individuals and beneficiaries come in and understand that they've got supports from people that have a background in what happened, and that have, have experienced the same sort of lifestyle and role for a number of years. I myself come from a Royal Air Force background, serving for 22 years, studied and graduated to become a social worker and previously worked within mental health addictions before taking on this role, which I have to say is a dream job for me. It allows us to support beneficiaries and members of the armed forces within the local area and as I said earlier approximately 38,000 throughout the Ayrshire area. Thank you for coming and taking the time to have a look around our centre and please get in touch to see if we can help you.